if you want to travel a lot with your bike, I believe I got really nice and even must have device to update your bike. It's called CarPlayRide. It's Android Auto, Apple CarPlay for your motorcycle. As you can see, I have a Rebel, Honda Rebel bike. It's not a big bike, pretty small handlebar, a lot of stuff here, windshield. I already demounted a quad lock system here for my phone. But I have missed the Android Auto system in general, in, in, not in old bikes. Old bikes don't have it, but even in the new modern bikes, there are no Android Auto system. And navigation, the only option is to buy a quad lock and use your navigation here with your expensive phone. If you buy a phone for 1000 euros, it's uh, quite pity if the phone will fall down or there are a lot of dust, stones in the road during their long trips. Right now I'm planning the trip around the Lithuania. I'm situated in Lithuania, in the Vilnius. It's not a big country, but I'm planning to have some round trip in Lithuania. And I was looking for some Android system here, some Android navigation, some display to mount on my bike. And I got CarPoRite. Let's check what we have here. It's HD display, 7 inch, touchscreen, IP67 certified, waterproof. It's really nice. I already used it for a couple of weeks. And the more I use it, the more I like it. And I will show you why. First of all, how does it look? It has some protection screen, so don't look on the, some scratches. Uh, how does it look? Pretty small, not very big. If the device is very complicated to connect, of course we don't want to use it. Even if after connection this device is hard to use or every time you need to adjust something, it's really terrible and I like to have the device that you just press the button and ready to go. So this is such kind of device. Let's check how I can connect this device, how I manage to connect it. As you can see, my handlebar is pretty small and not a lot of free spaces here. Of course, you can mount it over here because there are some mount you can connect to handlebar. But what I've done, I connect it directly to my windshield. It's pretty fits here and very stable. If I left my bike on the street, I can just unscrew this connection and take the device. Or if I want to ride, I just take the device, put it here. Hard to do it with one hand. As you can see, this device is mounted. It took, I don't know, 25 seconds maybe to connect, even less. And it looks pretty nice. The connection, of course, the important part, how we can connect it to the bike, how we power, power up the unit. That this unit has three options to connect. First, the most complicated, I believe, you can connect it directly to your battery. I think for, for myself it's a, bit, a little bit complicated thing. It's not hard to connect, but I just don't want to connect anything to my battery. You have some old bikes or you have more knowledge in electricity, so it's pretty easy to connect. Just connect with your battery and power up the unit. Regarding the mount, there are some special mount for BMW motorcycles. Second type of connection is USB. I like it the most because some new bikes, modern bikes, got USB connections. So it's pretty easy to connect, just plug in the USB. I have the USB under my seat. And this bike, this unit, CarPorite is powered up. So it's very easy. I, I like it the best. Don't have, for example, USB connection and don't want to connect it directly to your battery. There are one more option for you, and I already tried. I will show you. If you are planning not a long trips, maybe five hours a day, three hours a day, or even less, some round trips, and you need this unit to be power up without USB and without any other complicated connection, just buy the power bank, not the big one, the simple one, not very expensive, and you can power up the unit via power bank. It's very easy. Let me show you. Look, what I need to do, I just take this power bank, take the USB connection, put it over here, 
and this carpurite is ready to go. Plenty of options over there. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. As you can see, it's already connected automatically to my phone. I got phone in my pocket. Here's my phone. All I need to do is just turn on, there's the button. I need to turn on this device. It connects automatically to my phone, motorcycle helmet. It's called Shoei Neotech 2. And this Shoei Neotech 2 have integrated Sina communication system. The system is pretty good. You can listen music, communicate with your friends. When riding, it's pretty awesome. But how to connect the Sina? All I need to do is just press these two buttons and this Sina will connect automatically to my phone. The interesting part is that all I need to do is adjust this device one time and this device will remember, this Carpurite will remember all the settings and every time I turn on it, turn off it or, or, or ready to ride for some long trips all I need to do is power up the unit, connect, press the button, activate my Sina system and that's it. My phone always in the pocket. How to connect it? Pretty easy. It has Android Auto. So first of all, you need to connect via Bluetooth with your device. As you can see, it's my phone, S24 Plus, Samsung phone, Android phone. After that, it automatically will switch to wireless connection to have remote auto, Android Auto, sorry. And it's ready to go. But there are one feature that you need to adjust, audio output. As you can see, there are different options iPlay Auto or Bluetooth Trans what does it mean? if you have some special helmet integrated with communication system as I do some Sino or Cardano or something like that I strongly suggest or I believe it's the only option to choose iPlay Auto what it will do it will let all the sounds play through your headsets on your helmet navigation, music, phone calls if you choose, if you have some simple Bluetooth headset, just cho choose Bluetooth Trans, find your uh, headset and connect it. So your phone will be connected directly via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay here, and the whole sound will go through your Bluetooth headsets. Additionally, in such a sunny day, you can adjust brightness or even remove this protection screen. I just have it pretty new, so I just left it. What you can do with this device? Why it's so important for me? When I'm traveling around the country, when I'm traveling in general, want to travel with my bike in Android Auto. What you can do here? You have Waze. It's my navigation system. As you can see, I'm over there. Here's my bike. It's pretty fast. As you can see, it's pretty fast. All I need to do if I want to search for some navigation just put it, I don't know, any address you want and if the navigation is ready to go. Another thing you can do is make a call. There are messenger as well. You can listen to the music. It's pretty stable. It's compact. As you can see, I mounted to the windshield. It looks nice on the bike. It has some protection. And the good thing is that it cost maybe a quarter of your good phone. With my additional discount code, you will receive a discount if you want to order it. It's a little bit more than 200 euros for such a device with two years warranty. So let's ride and I will show you how does it feel, how does it look when I'm riding. Absolutely no problem with motorcycle gloves. You can use it to control the device. You can see even on sunny days there are no problems to read the navigation you can adjust brightness even more as well you can use the motorcycle gloves change it to control it so no problems here you 
Let's check how does it perform on highways, on motorways, on higher speed. As you can see, no wind blast. It's pretty stable, readable. That's why I like it when I'm traveling. As I already said, I want to travel around the Lithuania. It's more than 2,000 kilometers. I believe this device will help me a lot during my trip. I have a coupon code for you guys if you want to buy it. Right now the corporate have pretty big discounts on their website. The good thing is that my code will work together with discount. So it doesn't matter if you receive 100 euros discount already on the website. Additionally to that, you will receive $50 discount with my coupon code. So please use it. All the information is in description.